Well, folks, here we are again. We're still in, in chapter 11 of Proverbs. It seems like a very difficult proverb to get all the way through. We ended last time in <clears throat> verse 22, which was uh, the 16th thing in the chapter of Proverbs book 11. Proverbs 11. We were on street 11 of Proverbs, okay? And uh, we're going now to the 17th thing that is in there, and it's in verse 23. And it said, The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Now, to be righteous, things are good. Righteousness is a goodness. Everything that's good is not righteous, but everything that's righteous is good. If you can understand, that's kind of a conundrum, but the two don't reverse and say the same thing. They reverse and say opposite of what they are. And uh, so, in verse 24 through verse 26, there are six unfailing laws. Now, law is, is something like uh, gravity. For instance, if you drop, uh, I got this magnifying glass here in my hand that I have to use because my eyes are so bad, I have to look at my words with it. And uh, <clears throat> if I drop this thing, it's going to hit the floor. It's going down. That is a law. That's a law, and that law is not going to be broken. You can't break that law. Uh, if you're up in the uh, air in the sky above the earth and you're in a, a, a place where there is no gravity, this thing will float. But while we're on this earth, the law of gravity is in effect. And what he's saying here there is that there is laws in effect. And these laws, there are six of them listed here, that you, can, that you can't break and get away with. He said, There is that uh, scattereth and yet increaseth, and there is that withholdeth more than is meat or more than is due him, and by it tendeth to poverty. And we're going to cover the type of riches he's talking about here in a couple minutes. In verse 25, it says, The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. And verse 26, it said, He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. So in the time of trouble, in the time of need, if you got a barn full of corn, you'll have blessings if you share some of it. If you will even sell it, sell it to people for a fair price, you will have a reward for doing that. But back up in 24, it says, There, he, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. This is a dilemma. This is a dilemma. To, especially to the world. Uh, especially, I've, oh, I, it, this is hard to say, but this is a fact. I, I made, I had six children. I made a very small amount one year, and I turned it into the government what I made, and it was the truth. And they said, you can't do that. You can't live. You cannot live on what you turned, and you've got to be lying about it. You can't live on that. And the truth of the matter was, is I couldn't, with six children, I couldn't live on $13,000 a year when I made. But that's what I made. And, and I had children at Christian school, and I was living in the world like everybody else. And uh, we went through fine. God blessed us. Uh, we didn't have any, any needs, any wants. Everything was fine. And, and the Lord even allowed me to be able to tithe that year and give out of that $13,000. I was able to give... $1,300 to the church. You say, well, how did you do that, Brother Peter? And I said, I do it because God takes my dollar and makes it worth more than the dollar of the wicked man. You say, I don't understand it. Well, let me tell you why. I don't understand it either all the time. But I do know it works. And we haven't missed a meal. And I know I raised six children without any insurance. I put uh, six children in Christian school. I had six children uh, in Christian school. 
going to school and I'm out there making uh, 12, 13, 14 thousand dollars a year and those those children were uh, uh, able to go through Christian school. I was able to not have a hospital bill. I raised six children for 20 years until they were all married off and, and never had an outstanding hospital bill. As a matter of fact, during that period of time, I only had two hospital bills, and both of them got taken care of very quickly, and they were both with broken collarbones. So, well, actually, I had three. One of them was an appendicitis. I remember that now. There was an appendicitis in there, but it, and the man doctor knew me, and he knew that uh, we didn't have any insurance, and uh, he knew that we were menial living people, and he... I helped us out there. He didn't charge us for many of the things that he used and, and did. He had them on hand. They were there. And he just said, well, I'm going to share this with you, uh, Brother Peter, and did. And that's the way God's worked in my life. And it says here, there is the man that scattereth what he has, yet he increaseth. And there is that which withholdeth more than he should, and uh tendeth to poverty. Hey, I see that all the time. <coughs> I see people beating people all the time. And they beat a person and they're in trouble all the time. They can't get out of trouble. And the reason why they can't get out of trouble is because they're, they're not free within the Lord to share. <coughs> the first problem they've got is they're more than likely not tithers. They don't take a 10% God said to take and put in the church. So they're robbing God of that money. Uh, Brother Ralph Taylor, a good friend of mine, and uh, for 10 years I said unto him, he's a, a preacher that uh, preached, and for 10 years why we were together, and he told me a little story about they had a, uh, a meeting, and, and he said to his wife, he turned there, and he said, the Lord told me to put $100 in the offering. She said, well, $100 is all we got, Brother Ralph. And... Uh, and he said, well, the Lord told me to put it in. She said, no, I don't think the Lord told you to put it in. So he said, I didn't put it in. On the way home, he said, we're headed home. And <laughs> he said, the back window blew out of the car. It just went all to pieces. He said, when I got home, I took it down to see, get it fixed. And the man said, it'll cost you $100. He said, the Lord told me to put the $100 in. I didn't do it. And so if the Lord tells you to do something, you better do it. And uh, you better not weigh right then what the cost is right then. What Brother Ralph doesn't know, and he never will know, and, well, he's in heaven now. He probably, well, he isn't in heaven now yet, but when he gets there, he'll find out that there was somebody standing that was going to give him 500 And because he didn't put the 100 in, the Lord didn't tell them to give him the 500 So, because the Lord said, we'll get fivefold what we do. Or even sevenfold. So uh, then that he withholdeth corn, it talked about in verse 26, uh, it can be uh, re uh, represented as an evil person. But he that selleth his corn in the time of need can be treated like a good person. It said, He that delighteth, he that diligently seeketh good, perceiveth favor. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. If you seek good, good's going to come to you. If you seek mischief, mischief's going to come to you. Verse 28. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. I'm here to tell you, our life has flourished as a branch on a good tree and a big tree. Just mention Brother Ralph. Brother Ralph put the root. This tree that you're seeing today sitting here talking to you is a living tree that Brother Ralph Taylor put the root in me, and that root goes out deep, long, far, and wide. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and a fool shall be servant to the wise heart. Listen, if you sow to the wind, you're going to reap from the wind. I wanted to get through here today. Verse 31. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth much more the wicked and the sinner. The righteous is going to be recompensed. The righteous is going to have the good things of the earth. The righteous is going to inherit the good. And uh, the wicked are going to have bad. I see our time has come and gone. This has been Brother Peter with tidbits from the Word. And this is the fastest 10 minutes of the day. It just bang, bang, bang. It's gone. I hope and pray that you folks who do watch these get something from them now. 
Goodbye. God bless you.